your unique story, our global audience. Global One Media. Hello, and welcome to another episode of our market analysis series, where we analyze different industries and trends taking shape with Chris Thompson from eResearch. The aim of those discussions is to help you make informed and intelligent investment decisions. I am Munir Barazi, your business analyst and host, and today I will be talking with Chris about vanadium, which is a chemical element whose products are expected to play an important role in renewable energy projects. Hello, Chris. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Chris, you've recently written and released an industry report on the vanadium industry. What does re the report cover? Yeah, it's an overview of, of vanadium itself as an element, uh, the supply, demand, uh, the, the, the historical and current pricing trends, uh, how vanadium is, is becoming more important uh, as it's being used as a battery metal. Uh, we also give a, a small overview of various um, companies in the vanadium industries from you know, early stage exploration companies all the way through to producers uh, in a comp table. So, so investors can have a look at uh, the different companies in the market. We were very fortunate to have a company called Curry Rose Resources, um, which is on the TSX uh, V exchange on the, the ticker CUI that sponsored the report uh, to help defray some of the costs. And they have a three page overview. Um, as with a lot of the companies that do sponsor these things, um, they are what we believe is an undervalued um, company in that marketplace because they have an advanced resource stage project, um, but are in the lower part of the comps when you look at other resource uh, uh, companies. So it's good. So you can get a good understanding of the of their company and their and their project. So it's a fairly comprehensive report for anyone who doesn't know about vanadium. It's a good overview with uh, some good highlights on companies that are potential uh, investment um, targets. That's very interesting. And I'm sure the report is a valuable and helpful read for anyone who's looking to establish a better understanding of the vanadium industry. But uh, for the viewers who are not familiar with vanadium, can you tell us what it is and what it is used for? Yeah, so vanadium uh, is a chemical element uh, on the periodic table, uh, just like gold and silver. The symbol is V for people who are like those things, and the atomic number is number 23. And it's a hard, lightweight, and corrosion-resistant uh, metal. Um, and so it's often alloyed with, uh, with iron and, and steel to make lighter corrosion-resistance metals that are used in the aerospace industries um, and other industries where you want a hard, lightweight metal. Um, and so most of the vanadium today is, is used in the steel industry. However, vanadium uh, is becoming more important in the energy storage industry. Um, because it's being used to make a type of battery um, that is uh, that is very important for uh, industries or, or applications um, where you ha may have um, not consistent energy being supplied, like say wind or solar, and you need to have some sort of storage. And that market is expected to grow, you know, by fifty or sixty percent over the next three to four years. Um, and these projects often require these high energy batteries and ven vanadium batteries are an important part of that solution. So vanadium does play an important role in the green shift. And, and given that you've thoroughly examined the industry, what makes vanadium an, an attractive investment opportunity, in your opinion? Well, as mentioned, I think there are, there are four overall reasons why in the report that we talk about the, the major one right now is the shift to what they call renewable energy projects. And there are a number of renewable energy projects in the marketplace right now, very large wind farms, solar farms, and other type of renewable energy, which they require, you know, batteries to help with the peak uh, and, and lows in, in, the, in the supply of that energy. So the batteries help to even things out. Um, what we're talking about here is the vanadium redox flow battery or VRFB batteries. And these vanadium batteries um, are competing against lithium ion and, and they're sort of a cost effective solution uh, for that. And currently right now, um, this marketplace for these um, vanadium batteries is very small. It's only three to 5%. 
Um, and they believe that with these large wind and solar projects that going in, it could go up to as high as 20% um, in, in the next, uh, say, eight to 10 years. And with that, you would need a lot more vanadium. Um, in addition to uh, uh, the vanadium batteries, there's still the growth in the existing market. And that's the second point. Uh, because it's used to make lightweight, strong steel, uh, any industry like um, cars or uh, aerospace industries, um, space industries where you want a, a, a light, strong metal, continue to use vanadium. It helps to reduce the weight and improve you know, efficiency for energy. Um, and looking at the marketplace, you know, we looked at the supply and demand, and, and currently there is a forecast that by 2025, there might be um, a supply deficit uh, as the market continues to grow. And finally, um, you know, most of the vanadium produced today is in uh, either China, uh, which controls two thirds of the market, and then Russia, which has another, say, 20 percent of the market. So it has a, a large percentage is in, in, in control of those countries and a lot of co uh, countries with now with these geopolitical and supply chain issues want more domestic supplies. And so um, they're actually the vanadium is on many of countries critical minerals lists, which means that the, the countries are are encouraging projects uh, domestically um, to produce vanadium and that's what's helping a lot of these projects along. Certainly some strong demand drivers there. And Chris, I want to go back to something you mentioned earlier about the role of vanadium in energy storage. What makes vanadium a battery metal? Yeah, so vanadium, as I mentioned before, it's in, in what they call the vanadium redox flow battery or VRFB. And it's actually a very interesting type of application of, of a battery because it's actually uh, chemical storage. The vanadium is in like a solution. Um, and because of that, because of the nature of the, the battery, um, it, it allows for like four important characteristics which over things like a lithium battery. It has a much longer life. So it lowers the overall cost of these batteries. Uh, it's very scalable. So when you're, you're talking about these very large um, projects, these large wind farms or solar farms, you need to have a battery that can scale up um, to meet that sort of need. And the, these types of batteries are, can do that. Um, it is very recyclable. So once the battery um, you know, comes to the end of the life, you can recycle the fluid that is used to store the charge. Um, and it's much safer. There's less likely it's going to explode. So in, in this case, um, you want to have uh, the, the application for this type of battery has lots of advantage over other types of batteries uh, like the lithium battery. Um, as, as the market continues to grow, um, you'll see projects come into play, which will see how these um, VR, FB batteries uh, are going to be used. And I, I, and I think the market will see that the demand will, will grow for that and it require a, a lot more of vanadium to, to, to create these batteries. Wonderful. It's really great news that energy storage is evolving and great insights from you, Chris, about vanadium and its uses. Those who are interested in the report can download it from eResearch.com. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you for your time.